Hi everyone, this is Hus. In this video, I will show you how to solve another type of DC circuits question that could be asked in the LET. Just as my last tutorial, I will assume that you have a basic understanding of the following topics. Voltage, current, resistance, power, series circuits, and parallel circuits. If you're not sure about any of these, please leave me a comment and I will send you a tutorial or make one for you. Let's begin. Here is the DC circuits question that I will solve in this video. Always start by writing the values on the circuit. Here, the total current is 7.5 amps, power dissipated by resistor A is 417 watts, current through resistor B is 1.6 amps, voltage drop across resistor C is 25 volts, and the resistance of D is 28 ohms. We have been asked to find current through resistor C, that's IC, the supply voltage, that's VT, and the power dissipated by the circuit, that's PT. To find the current through resistor C, IC, we need total current, IT, and the current through resistor B, IB. When the IT reaches this junction, it'll split in two parts. One part will go to resistor B, and the other will go through resistors C and D. So IC will be IT minus IB, or 7.5 minus 1.6 which will give us 5.9 amps so the current through resistor C will be 5.9 amps to find the supply voltage we need voltage across the resistor C VC voltage drop across resistor D VD and the voltage drop across resistor A VA we have already been given VC that's 25 volts to find VD we need ID which is same as IC because they are in series, and resistance D. According to Ohm's law, VD will be equal to ID times RD, 5.9 times 28, which will give us 165.2 volts. So the voltage drop across resistor D is 165.2 volts. To find VA, we need PA and IA, which is same as IT, by transposing the power formula, we can find VA, which will be equal to PA divided by IA, 417 divided by 7.5, which will give us 55.6 volts. So the voltage drop across resistor A is 55.6 volts. Putting all three voltage drops together will give us VT, which is 245.8 volts. So the supply voltage is 245.8 volts. To find the power dissipated by the circuit, we need the supply voltage VT and the total current IT. We will use the power formula here. PT is equal to VT times IT. We have already calculated VT, which is 245.8 volts, and we were given IT, which is 7.5 amps. 245.8 times 7.5 is 1843.5 watts. So the total power dissipated by the circuit is 1843.5 watts. That's all of them. Practice makes perfect. So if this is your first time solving this type of question, don't panic. I'll make more tutorials for this type and other combinations of DC circuits so you get more practice. If you found this video useful, please like it and share it with someone who, will, who you feel will benefit from it. Thanks for watching.